so the next topic is deserium a number is said to be the deserium number when the sum of its digits raised to the power of their respective positions is equal to the number itself example 135518 dimensions too hard now give an example take an example like if we accept a number like 135 so the respective position that is position 1 that is position 2 that is position 3 and the power means one of the power of 1 plus 3 power with 2 and 5 power with 3 that is their respective position 1 is at first place 3 is at second place 5 is at third place that means 1 plus 9 plus 125 gives you 135 that means 135 is a desirium number next we check 518 that is position number 1 position number 2 and position number 3 now 5 power 1 1 power 2 8 power 3 that means 5 plus 1 plus uh, 512 equals 518 it is also a desirium number next check uh, like uh, 1 2 3 no not 1 2 3 3 2 4 okay so the respective position is power 1 power 2 power 3 uh, so 3 power 1 plus 2 power 2 plus 4 power 3 equals 3 plus 4 plus uh, 4 16 64 equals uh, 71 double equals 3 to 4 no that means 3 to 4 is not a desirium number so let's check about the topic now we understand how to write the code now so let's start with import java dot util dot star next public class a random class name that is we use desirium underscore number next a curly braces next line little bit inner public static void main string arcs third bracket open close next declare scanner class object scanner is equals new scanner system dot in next ask a question to user and give three line gaps so the question first we have to accept a number from user so we ask a question enter a number so num equals sc dot next int and declare num int num next how we get the counter the three we have to know that there is three digit every year there is three digit but we have another number like 89 8 power 1 plus 9 power 2 it means 8 plus 81 equals 89 it is also a desirium number so it can be two digit it can be three digit it can be more digits so first we have to use a count that helps us to count the number of digits only then we can create the positions so next we have to write a loop statement which helps to count the number of digits so we use for loop for int i equals num i greater than 0 and i equals i by 10 here i use count plus plus now we have to declare count equals 0 so 
what will the use of count count is uses to count the number of digits so if we take 135 then the count will be 3 if the number is 89 the count will be 2 next while using for loop we get last digit like i equals num i greater than 0 i equals i by 10 here we have to use a remainder variable rem just we declare here rem rem equals i mod 10 i will explain later why we why i write like that next now we have to store the rem with its power position so power position we get from the count and we have to use rem and count simultaneously let's check like uh, we have to uh, another variable storage variable we use this and right here this equals this plus mat dot pow um rem comma count method power is a double type return value function that's why we have to write int here okay next we have to decrease the counter count minus minus and and the curly braces ends the for loop okay next we have to check if dis double equals num but one more thing okay let i introduce what what is the thing we write system dot out dot println no statement like first we write the variable num is a desirium number else system dot out dot print ln num is not a desirium number and that is the end of main end of class main method close and class close now i will explain about the topic and here uh, you can see i use this as zero and semicolon why write this equals zero i will explain later so first we create a class name with desirium next main method scanner sc declared here is the sc is the object of a scanner class to use the in uh, input interface like here we introduce a line that is enter a number for the user and the num equals sc dot next int next a for loop that is int i equals num that means if we use 135 okay then i equals 135 i greater than 0 that means 135 greater than 0 count plus plus so count equals 1 okay next i equals i by 10 that means 135 by 10 equals 13 now 13 greater than 0 as per this rules and the count will be 2 next 13 i equals i by 10 that means 13 by 10 equals 1 next 1 greater than 0 count plus plus 
count becomes 3 and i becomes i by 10 means 0 next will be 0 greater than 0 false so final count equals 3 if we use 135 if we use 89 the count will be 2 if we use another 4 digit number the count will be 4 the number of digits will be the value of count next int i equals num same process that means i equals num means i equals 135 135 greater than 0 ok true rem equals first topic 135 mod 10 means 5 so here i write this equals dash plus mat dot pow rem comma count rem comma count means 5 power 3 and mat dot pow gives us a double time value that's why we use int conversion that is a explicit conversion that means 5 cube we get 125.0 that will not store into a int type variable that's why we have to forcefully convert double type value into int that means we get only 125 now this what is the initial value of this this equal this plus 125 is it not possible because this needs our initial value that's why i use this equals zero so the line will be zero plus 125 and the count value will be two okay next i equals 135 by 10 so 135 by 10 equals 13 next rem equals 3 so this equals 125 plus power of 3 power 2 3 power 2 means 9 3 power 2 means 9 so it will gives us 125 plus 9 equals 134 and next count will be 1 i becomes 13 by 10 it means 1 next <coughs> 1 greater than 0 rem will be rem equals 1 this equals this equals 134 plus power with 1 that means 135 so after ending of the while loop in that here the d equals 135 now 135 double equals 135 answer will be yes and then print the num is a desirium number